Hello everyone, this is Kieran and welcome to this week's Grand Campaign and the Date Clan. We continue where we'd left off, we had just recently taken Uzan and Miyagi back, but we're in obviously a plight now where we have a force coming from the Miyagi to try and take Miyagi, or we will have a force coming to try and retake Miyagi, but I'm going to put a few bow, bow units in and hopefully that should mean we can hold it from this army. It's largely just katana, a samurai and bow samurai anyway. Uh, and bow arigashi, so we should be okay with our units and our general in quite a fortified city, but we'll also try and get this army down at some point as well to support it. Uh, yeah, we're just in sort of a bit of a situation where we need to get in a pos better position now. Um, our food shortage is down, our food food is back down. Um, I think this is partly due to the rebellion. Um, we do have somewhere is that now that's paper mills. We're currently researching the technology to get our next farm in place, but that's gonna be a few turns away, obviously. We're gonna end this turn because I can't really do anything at this present time. We have an army here as well from the Tsumi clan, Tsui clan. Hopefully they'll just go straight for that one. And more, the more I've decided to declare war against us, so that is pretty much everyone against us at present, apart from the Chis Chisube, Chisokobe clan, I think. So we've got a siege battle to go. Let's get this in. We may just pretty much just get this siege battle in, move our armies around uh, and get into a position hopefully we can attack and defend. It looks like the Yusegi are bringing another army forward so I may send this army back that's up by there that we saw on the screen um, just to cover our other area and use the bigger army to flip between Miyagi and Atakia and Uzen for now. But let's concentrate on this, let's see what we can get done. I'm just going to pile all my resources into this main section here. Um, do damage from the archery towers and that anyway. And then we'll just allow them to tie themselves out and then just pick them off as they come in. I think from what I've been reading, you only actually need four units to defend the castle, which is pretty insane. Um, but we'll see how it goes. And we'll take the time in because I'm on a short time today than what I usually am to get this game in. So let's take a look. This bit seems pretty well defended by the bridge. I'm not going to listen to the speech. Let's. An archery tower there. And another one here. Right, so. Let's pretty much get all our bows, or any bows we've got, into a position. I imagine they're probably going to come up mainly up this way. Uh, yeah, I imagine they'll pretty much mainly come up this way, as it's their only real way to get to us. And then what shall we do? Uh, to look at more. We just have a Yari wall here. I always forget about the Yari wall. I mean, recently I've been anyway. Uh, another Yari wall here. One here is a, a intermediary across here, really. And we'll just use our katanas and retainers just to do any particular damage around with some cavalry charges as well. We've got another bow, uh, bow Arigashi unit here. So we'll pull them here, and then we've got all these additional units here. 
with some cavalry. So let's get this battle started. See where the large is going to come from. It looks like the large is going to come over this brow, which is fine because they've got a. From what it seems like. And where it's showing them a little bit of a trek so their whole army is pretty much coming this way which is fine uh, it doesn't seem to be coming any other way so what I'll do is I'll pull this unit of archers here and another one here and we'll just rain death into them and we'll see why obviously they might filter out and split off but we'll just use our units to let them come up and then just kill them off in any way possible from there You got some match locks. You may hear like on this one now. So the archer. Yeah, I've got a few Yari Samurai coming, but we'll use our katanas on them. And hopefully we'll just pick off some of these units. As they come up. May just even try and snipe their general actually. Where is their general? It's like he's stayed in the hill. We'll see which area they're gonna climb up. Let's get a Shiari wall over here as well. Uh, can we get him in loose formation? Let's get him up against the wall, a bit more protection. And yep, just rainbow death down on them for now. And pull the balls back. Move the shiary wall here. And this ball unit back too. And we'll try and get both these bow units firing here. unit here just try and pick off as many as we can like this just basically allowing them to come to us and just shooting what we can of their units as well don't know whether I'd be able to get my cavalry out there anywhere this way I may be able to get them out that way. If I can, then I'll come round for their archers. They've got cavalry, which is fine. That's, I'm not too worried about their cavalry. Uh, they've got a lot of cavalry, actually.
and we'll just start to rain some arrows down on them over here and yeah I'm quite confident they're not really going to do much more to us at this point so so easy actually to defend it's kind of cool I didn't know this when I was doing the other let's play that lost me using I don't think I'd have lost using had I have not been a little silly and a little rash Let's uh, bring this light cavalry unit round. These guys are trying to scale this wall. And we'll just pick off any units they've got coming in. The archer fire down. Focus the archers onto them. As we're about to smash their bow units from the side, anyway. Cavalry charge in. Swing around and just come in for some kills. Try and charge through. Oh, they're going to get a bit mollard. But if we can pull our cavalry through, come on, pull them out. I don't want to lose this unit. Come on, let's get out. Done some damage. Let's keep that unit together. Unfortunately, lost a few more, but it's got them wavering. Pretty much give us a confirm on the victory. They're wavering. Fortunately, took a few casualties on that cavalry, but yeah, pretty decisive. Nice, clean, easy battle. Easy defense. I think we're probably going to leave that pretty short here we'll, we'll try and get see if there is another there will be another battle but I imagine how to Kiami are gonna be yeah, able rebels are gonna try and get us as well and that's one army defeated which is cool no they're just attacking the mine for now making a small loss of money so we'll have to be a little wary on that um, that's partly because that's just been damaged you know, I'm confident that could hold And we'll march this arm into here. Uh, in 
that take all their best units out for now and we'll pretty much hold this campaign here sorry can't do much more I do want to do a lot more today um, but I'm just pressed for time so I'm going to leave this episode here we've had a nice siege battle pretty easy to hold off against uh, actually can we put some of these units in here don't want recruitment if we can get the Yari Samurai and two units of Yari Agagashi into there I'm a lot more confident with another bow Samurai so that's it we're going to hold this episode here we should be able to defend with that army there and with these as reinforcements should these come here I imagine they're not really going to engage they're probably going to try and run off but we'll find out in the next turn we may have unrest in Yuzen to sort out as well as an advancing army from Yusegi so we are on war on pretty much everywhere we can be at at the minute which isn't great it makes it a little more difficult but we should do okay I think this army is pretty okay so I'm quite happy with that I may have to sort of spread it a little bit thinner and send some into other areas but I'm pretty impressed with what we've got so we'll leave this episode here thank you for watching please do like comment share subscribe actually just one thing we'll do just before we do leave is we'll defeat this unit here And I thought we only had seven a second ago. Right, oh, is that because we captured a unit? Um, let's disband one of these. Um, how do you do it? Scupper get our cost down a little bit and we're going to end that end this turn here so thank you for watching please like comment share subscribe we'll be next next week with some more shogun total war 2 we'll try and extend longer we've got a massive i think incoming battles coming with the mori clan by the looks of it and we're gonna have to sort of just try and defend our lines really for a while until we can build up take yusegi hojo this is like the late game now we've got a lot of big factions to deal with so we'll see how we can do. Thank you for watching. Please leave a like, comment, share, subscribe, and be back next to next Monday with another Shogun Total War 2. I'll be back Wednesday with a Star Wars Empire Let's Play. And hopefully I should have the DB Yet Impera 1.1 to 1.2 Spear Infantry changes from the Roman side of things. So, anyway, thank you for watching. Bye.